Award-winning motion picture producer, Samuel L. Bronkowitz. I have spent a lifetime in the motion picture industry. Now, after 50 years in Hollywood, I have finally produced what I feel is the finest motion picture ever made. I have called it the Kentucky Fried Movie. The Kentucky Fried Movie heralds the return to traditional values. I'm not wearing any pants. Film at 11. It is a film of heartfelt passion, a great love story. Oh, take me to this drive and prove you love me. Oh. <laughs> It explores the subtle nuances of interpersonal relationships. Of course, there are occasional moments of comic relief. <laughs> the Kentucky Fried Movie is a film that demands the greatest performances from the finest actors of the cinema. Hey, look, Roy. Roy. I tell you, this building is unsafe. The city is in flames. The National Guard is powerless to deal with the situation. Governor, what are we going to do? An anticipated 10% price hike across the board on petroleum products. <laughs> I invite every man, woman, and child to share with me the joy and warmth of the Kentucky Fried Movie. It will knock your socks off. Hey, what's going on, people? This is Spiderman here, once again, with another film review. And this time I'm talking about a film that was requested by a viewer, one of my subscribers, viewers. And the film is called Kentucky Fried Movie. Yes, almost like KFC. But anyways, guys, so this is a film from the 70s. And at first I didn't know it was going to be a parody. But I guess it's a parody of all the commercials from the 70s that were popular at the time. Uh, some game shows, I think, some movie spoofs thrown in there. So it's pretty much a parody of a lot of different, but it consists of a lot of different like skits, I guess. They're like in skit form or sketches, if you want to call them that. And a lot of them were funny. Uh, There's a lot of hit and miss, uh, you know, skits that didn't really, really didn't stand out. But the one that did stand out was the Bruce Lee parody. Now that one. It's also the longest sketch out of all the sketches in the film, and um, it was really funny and interesting. So it's a parody about uh, this film called Enter the Dragon, and <laughs> yeah, I really don't need to explain. You gotta have to watch this uh, skit to believe, to believe it. It's pretty funny and outrageous, and yeah, that's the one that stands out for me, but there's a lot of like, you know, uh, like feminine hygiene commercials you know stuff like that you know some gross stuff but uh yeah i mean i liked it i liked the movie i liked uh you know the cheesiness of the actors you know how the acting was back then it's kind of cool to see how these old commercials were back then and how dated they are now but yeah uh, <laughs> definitely if you can get this on blu-ray or dvd definitely get it it's pretty funny it was directed by John Landis, which I think he did the werewolf movies, American Werewolf or whatever. Um, so yeah, very good film though. Like I enjoyed it. It's not that long. It's like what an hour twenty minutes or something. And I'm pretty sure anyone who watches this film is gonna find something that they like in it. Um, so at the end of the day, I'm gonna give this film 
a 7 out of 10. And yes, guys, that's my review for Kentucky Fried Movie. And uh, if you guys want to leave any suggestions, any films you guys want me to review, drop a comment. And remember to stay safe out there. Like, comment, and subscribe, all that good stuff, right? Peace.